Hi everybody, my name is Sarah and I'm starting this YouTube page because I've been on WW since February 21st of 2019 and I've had some success with it and the reason why I want to do this is because I want to share some tips and tricks with you on um, how I stay motivated and what happens um, with me and like how I just want to stay with it and what I do to do that. Um, I want to show you a little before and after picture that I took. I've currently lost 99.6 pounds so far. So here is, there's my picture from before and after, the show proof. So um, why I started was um, about three or four years ago. I um, started having all these weird symptoms um, that really didn't make sense to me at first. So I started writing them down um, and then I was looking them up and everything and, uh, you know, a few things popped up. But I went to my doctor and a year's worth of blood work never showed anything. I was said it was fine. There was nothing wrong, but I knew there was something wrong. So I had them keep doing blood work and it was, wasn't until over a year later that I finally got some um, blood work results back that says that I had hypothyroidism. And at the time, like I said, I was having weird symptoms, like I was losing my hair, um, and I was gaining probably at that time about five pounds in like a week or two, which is a lot, so I knew something was wrong. Um, so when the hypothyroidism came back, I looked it up, and just about all the symptoms that I had um, on the list I did have. So made sense, you know. So um, last year, my birthday was on the 1st of February. So my mom said, what if I um, start you, because they had the, you know, you sign up for three months and you, they waive the fee and you, you know, get little thing, promotional things here and there. So that's what she did. She, for my birthday, she um, gave me, bought me the three month plan for my birthday and she signed up with me actually and she's been doing it with me ever since. Um, she's lost about 67 so she's doing good too. So that's how I started um, at first but I was ready for a change so I knew I needed to do something and it helped that my mom um, signed up with me and she was doing it with me. Um, so when I did first start, though, the first month or two, I will tell you, it wasn't, it wasn't as, as what people might think, like you lose a ton of weight, like really quick. I mean, I was up and down for the first uh, month, so the first week I lost 4.2, and then the second week I gained 2.8. So, you know, at first I was like, I don't know if this is going to work out so much, you know, because I was, you know, gaining, but I didn't realize at the time that that was normal, um, especially for me because of my hypothyroidism. It, you know, that doesn't help me at all in this process. It actually makes it harder to lose weight. So the third week I actually lost 5.8. And then the fourth week, I gained 2.2. So I, my first month, I was up and down, which made it a little bit, you know, in my head, I'm going, oh, I don't know if this is going to work. So it made it, you know, I was kind of like unsure. So, but I did stick with it. I wasn't going to give up because I knew I had to stay with it, stick with it in order for it to work and have a, some results. So the fifth week, I actually lost two pounds. And it, my weight actually evened out for a while. Um, it really did, uh, I really did start losing consistently. Uh, but every now and then I'll have a gain. Um, maybe it's because of my, sometimes it's because of my hypothyroidism because symptoms do flare up every now and then. Um, but sometimes, you know, my menstrual cycle comes and I do have a gain around that time too. So that um, kind of, you know, hinders progress at times. Um, but more like I did, would do want to say is that you do, your mind really has to be there um, when you do start a weight loss program, any program, not just WW. Um, I do want to tell everybody that um, 
if you're not ready for the change, don't do it because it's not going to work. You're not going to stick with it. You're not going to want to stick with it, especially during the hard times. Um, so, yeah. So I would say, you know, if you're at the bottom of the barrel looking up or in between a, rock and a hard place and you don't know where to go, that's when you start. So that's where I was. Um let me see my notes here. Um, and then I want to talk about the give you this um, book in WW. And I actually do fill it out. Um, they give you a little section on what you want to, <laughs> what you want to, um, to do. Try that. Camera's that part. Give me a little. Okay, there we go. What you want to like accomplish weight wise and um, non scale goals, which is um, a number that you're not looking for. So you're not looking at a number on the scale. You're actually looking for something to change body wise or mentality wise that you that you have accomplished along the way, which helps. Um, and then there are <clears throat> there's your why on why you want to start. Um, my why, um, when I first started was I was my own worst critic, um, especially when I was heavy and I'm, since I'm married, um, uh, my husband has always been supportive of me. Um, and he thought of me the same way, whether I was 150 pounds or almost 300, he loved me the same way. He thought of me the same way. And my why was that I wanted to see myself the way he saw me because um, I didn't see it at the time. I didn't think, you know, the same way. So I wanted to change that. Um, <clears throat> so that was my why at first. It's, it has since changed since I've been on this journey for a while and I do see the difference in the worth in me. So, And then they give you the, the, the book. Um, it'll show your week, like you, you'll reflect back. I'm sorry, my camera's backwards and it's messing me up. Okay. So you're going to reflect back on your week. You're going to write your, um, your weight change here and then you're going to reflect back on your week and then you're going to look ahead to what goals you want to accomplish for that next week. And I do write all of this down and I do, and then I do write down notes from the workshop that we do. Cause I do the, in, um, in the studio, I do that. I, I don't think I could do it online just by myself. Cause I need that little camaraderie that we had in the wait meet in the meetings in the group. So yeah, but you know, if you're doing online only, that's perfectly fine. Um, it does work. So you just, I would just say find a buddy or a person to do it with you because, you know, if you're doing it by yourself, it might be a little discouraging. And then there's a section here with Monday through, um, Monday through Sunday. Um, I do weigh in on Monday because I want to save my weekly points that I have for the weekend. You have daily points and weekly points. Um, when I started, I started off with 42 daily points because I started at 284.4 pounds. So, and then I had 42 weekly points and you can save four um, daily points that rolls over into your weeklies. So you can do that every day. I try personally to roll over four points Monday through Thursday. So I can roll four points over four days in a row and then it goes into my weeklies for the weekend because A, I might wanna go out, maybe might wanna go out to eat um, one day or number two, everybody knows I like my whiskey and I can't give up my whiskey and so that's just the way it is. I'm not going to give it up. But anyways, on the on this part here, whoops, this part here, um, on the daily, um, I do write, uh, put, track my food in the app, but I also write it in this book because sometimes it's easier for me to reflect back on, like if I have a gain, it's easier for me to look into the book 
and see, okay, what did I eat or what did I do um, activity wise? Um, so that helps me reflect back on what happened, why would I, why did I gain? And then it, you know, it's just easier to see in a book than it is to um, look in the app all the time. Um, the other things that I write in the book, I like I said, I, daily I write down all of my food, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack for every day. Um, I do, at first I didn't start activity when I started WW, but now I am. At first I was like, I don't need it, but after a while I knew that I needed it um, because of my hypothyroidism. So it does help with that, me, you know, consistently losing weight. Um, and you get fit points for it. You can use them or you don't have to use them. Um, the fit points, there's a little setting in your app where you can um, either use the fit points first or use them last. I have it set to where I use it last. I don't want to use them up first because right now I'm tracking over 100 fit points a week and that's a lot of points to use up first so you don't want to I didn't really want to do that um, because you get use all your fit points and your regular weeklies and dailies you're probably not going to lose anything um, so that's what I do um, I also track on my week on this week and I'll show you in a minute um, that I do track all of my walking that I do. I have a treadmill upstairs, and um, so I do that. I started off slow. I did only about 15 minutes a day, only once a day, and then after a couple of weeks, I would slowly build up the time. I would add five minutes on every couple of weeks, you know, every two or three weeks because at the time I was really heavy and I couldn't walk that much so I just started slowly adding on time um, right now I'm up to two 35 minute walking sessions a day and I get three fit points for 35 minutes so that builds up um, and then I also track any housework that I do, whether it's in the house or outside in the garden or any cooking or anything like that. I do track all of that into my activity fit points. Um, so that helps too. And then I dance every now and then. Late night after my husband goes to bed, I put in my earphones and I just dance for about an hour or however long I can get in. So those, that's my activity and I write it down in my book on how long I've done it and how many fit points that I got. And then I also write down how many weeklies I built up and how many fit points I have. So that's all in my little notebook here. Um, and you can see on one of the days I do I do write down a lot of stuff. So I also write down non-scale victories that I have, or we call NSVs. Um, that is something that helps keep me on track and keeps me motivated to keep doing this because if I look at the Mount Everest that I had to climb, especially in the beginning, there's no way I would have stayed on track. I would have looked at this Mount Everest I have to climb and I'm gonna say, no, that's way too much for me to think about and say, oh, I gotta lose over a hundred pounds. I, I can't do it. And I probably wouldn't have been able to. So that helps me too because you need to set little non-scale victories along the way to keep you motivated and keep you going. Um, so non-scale victories, um, uh, like, you know, things that you don't see on a scale, like you don't see a number, like, you know, fitting into older clothes or something like that, um, that, um, that you have in the closet that you haven't worn in a long time. But we'll get into non-scale victories a little bit later. So, um, but what I do want to talk about is upcoming and um, future topics that I want to um, talk about, like weight goals um, in the future, like setting weight goals and NSVs. And I'll get into more of my NSVs that I have set for myself. Um, a little bit later and maybe in another future video because that's a lot to talk about. 
um, and how you want your body to learn, to look. Um, like how much do you really want to lose? Um, you might want to talk to your doctor about that, especially if you have medical issues like I do, um, because they can help you set a um, goal weight because um, Weight Watchers does have a strict kind of weight goal for each height of person. So if you don't think you can do that, you can uh, call your doctor or talk to your doctor and get them to send a letter for your goal weight. So, and that's what I did. Um, and well, I'll eventually talk about like the willpower that, you know, and motivation, um, what you would need to do, um, or try to keep on track in your mind. Um, we'll talk about maybe, um, about certain foods. Um, I might, I don't, I'm not into doing recipes right now because I can find a lot of recipes online, Weight Watchers friendly recipes, but I might even tell you about some of the, my favorite ones that I found and on the websites that you can find them on. Um, We'll talk about certain exercises, like I said before, um, how many fit points you can get for each one and how you can find them. Um, and not just health benefits, but mental benefits. What can you get from them? And I'll talk about all of that in upcoming uh, future videos. So I hope this helps. Um, let me just say I'm not a professional nutritionist or I'm not a professional um, physical therapist or anything like that. This is just me telling you what helps me on my journey and I hope it helps you guys too. So I will see you later and I can't wait to look forward to seeing you guys on my next video. So I hope this helps. Bye.